So the students, we are going to perform the SR flip flop using AND gate. So this is the circuit diagram of the SR flip flop. This is the AS input and this is the R input and this is the clock input. And this is the pin number of the uh, gates of the IC. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and in this way you have to connect uh, in your trainer kit. So finally you will get the output from the pin number 8 and you will get the output from the pin number uh, complement output that is pin number 11. And this is the truth table AS and R and this is the uh, normal output that is Q and corresponding complementary output here. So if you give the signal uh, that is G S0, uh, R0, uh, the Q will be previous state and that means no change in your complement uh, output. So just turn on the circuit, we have just turned on the circuit, this is the circuit and we have corrected this circuit in this uh, circuit diagram. That is uh, as per circuit diagram you have to also connect. So this is our AS and this is our R and this is our clock, you have to uh, turn on the clock. So first uh, if you 0, 0 that means there is uh, no change, no output um, and if you 0, 1 that is uh, 1 is 0, 1 there will be 0, S0 and um, Q0 and Q1 is uh, 1 and if you uh, give the signal that is S0 S1, R1, that is forbidden state. This is called forbidden state. So this is the basic uh, principle of the SF flip flop. And you, uh, you connect in this way, that is AS and R and corresponding your normal output, complementary output. Basically, you have to connect the, so all the circuits uh, as per your circuit diagram and as per your uh, pin, pin number. And finally, you have to check the, your truth table. So every, each and every experiment, you have to check uh, through your truth table. As per your truth table, you will get the output and as per your uh, circuit diagram, you have to make the circuit, you have to get the output. Okay, thank you.